Welcome into October and welcome into Real Recruits Television alongside Kyle Stanley. I'm Phil Stafford. We are really excited about this week's show. We have a lot of great coverage, especially in football here in Arizona. But before we get too locally focused, we're going to pull out real quick and go to the national spectrum. Of course, last week we started the Trophy Room, your weekly high school showcase. That's around the nation. But just like last week, we want to give you an exclusive highlight of what you can expect on iHigh.com. Let's check it out. They haven't been held under 31 points wow. this season. Martin put a hole in the floor on that one. That ends in dramatic fashion. Oh, doctor! So you will be able to see that full episode of the Trophy Room on iHigh.com on October 7th. As for now, we are going to come back here to Arizona. Three of the top 10 teams in Division II play for football. We've got them covered, including a brand new one to that top 10, Sunny Slope. I think the Vikings are happy to finally get some recognition at the state level. Their defense has been outstanding. Their offense may be even better so far. They haven't put up less than 31 points in a game. Their defense, wow, what can you say? I mean, they haven't trailed in a game since the first quarter of the season. So let's see how they did this week against Cactus Shadows. Sunny Slope sporting the number 10 ranking in the state, and it's not just offense and defense to talk about. Their place kicker, Joey Cavalli, ranks number one in the state with 19 touchbacks and enter Friday a perfect three for three on field goals. The Falcons home crowd made this one feel like a Saturday night rivalry on the collegiate stage, and the fans, they had all the great signs to show off as well. Vikings start with possession and real recruits his own. Joey Cavalli puts up the 27-yard field goal. It's 3-0 and the Vikings D in a comfortable spot with the lead. So how do the Falcons offense respond? Third and 10, Peyton Ringwald can't find an open receiver. Jacob Eshelman showing how quick he can close the gap. Bears down on Ringwald to end up with the sack and forces the first of six punts on the night. We'll skip ahead to the second quarter. Falcons driving at the end of the half. Ringwall going deep, and it's a man's catch by Nick Bobolik. Look again as he gets his left foot in bounds and makes the spectacular grab. The Falcons, though, would miss the field goal, so slope up 10-0 at the break. And it wouldn't be a complete sunny slope highlight without a little bob and weave from Tim Fryson. Get some help downfield with a nice block from Joey Smith, and Fryson puts this one in the bag for the green and white. Sunny Slope now the best defense in D2 as they complete their second shutout of the season, 35-0. Now over to Real Recruits reporter Alex Adams, who covered Centennial versus Deer Valley. Centennial Coyotes come into this game with a four and run record as they take on the Deer Valley Skyhawks. In the first quarter, Dedrick Young puts the team on his back by marching down the field and takes this run for 15 yards, setting up a first and goal opportunity where Centennial would capitalize, making the score 7-0. The following possession, the Skyhawks use a rushing attack of their own. Amir Armstrong breaks off a 35-yard run, but the drive would end in a turnover on downs. In the second quarter, Brian Cahoon busts through the line of scrimmage and slams down quarterback Daniel Smith to give Deer Valley some momentum. Centennial's defense answers back. Defensive end Brett Tons fights his way past the offensive line and brings down Devin Palomino, and from there, the Coyotes held on to their lead, winning the game 27-6. So with that win, Centennial is now on top of the Section 3 Division 2 standings. We're going to stick with Division 2 now, sending it out to Justin Freemeyer. He is our Real Recruits intern who was over at Paradise Valley on Friday night. Midway into the season, we have a matchup of Section 2 action between Paradise Valley and Arcadia. This game can make or break their season. Let's take you out to the action. Arcadia trying to turn their two-game losing streak around at the expense of the Trojans. Paradise Valley fresh off a victory and looking for their fifth win of the season. Action kicks off and the visitors run into trouble right away. Devin Ferguson fumbles and Hassani Levine says, thank you very much, I'll take that. Paradise Valley takes over deep in Titan territory. Trojans take advantage right away. Devin Bridge looking deep for Jordan Brown. He's got him. Put six on the board for PV. Home team strikes first. 
six minutes left in the first quarter. Titans knock on the door. Is anyone home? Yep, it's David Hubbard. He breaks the goal line, and after the extra point, it's 7-6 Arcadia. Final seconds of the first quarter. It's the Trojans' turn once again. Carl Westland barrels his way in. Paradise Valley takes the lead once again. But Arcadia had the final say in this one. The visitors squeak by with a 46-43 victory, thanks to a 26-yard field goal in the final minute of the game. Heading over to Valley Vista High School, where it's homecoming for the Monsoons. Both Millennium and Valley Vista coming off wins from last week. Picking this one up in the second quarter, it's 7-3 Millennium, but Terry Juneal finds a way to get into the end zone, put six on the board because the PAT is no good, it's 9-7. Nine, Nine seconds left in the second quarter, Coach Jason Randall sends his kicker Grayson Harrison out there for a 50-yard field goal, why not? And guess what, he makes it! The leg on the senior gives Millennium a 10-9 lead going into the half. Fourth quarter, the Tigers still have the lead, the monsoon on the drive, but Gage Moody is there on the scene. Pick six, make it 25 to nine. That's your final score as the Tigers win for the second week in a row. They are now back to 500 at three and three. Let's switch gears to high school volleyball and the Goldwater Classic. A few members of our family that we've got to brag about, including six foot two inch Jemima Adamudia from Deer Valley. The Skyhawks facing Centennial in their first round match of the tournament. Ida Mudia drives home the kill in the second set, but the Coyotes are just too dominant. They cruise to a 2-0 win to start the tourney. Our own Haley Ionella and the North Canyon Rattlers started the tourney versus Notre Dame prep. First set, we pick it up. Ionella defends the first hit, but the Rattlers just can't put it away yet. The Saints set it up to the left side. This one defended again by Ionella perfectly but the Rattlers lose this one in two sets, two games to nil. Over at the home site, Goldwater High School, Courtney Meyer holding down the middle for the Bulldogs, showing off her length with the block here in the second set versus Veritas, but talk about digging. How about this save by Meyer to get it over the net? Great play by the Bulldog, but they lose the match two games to none. Lastly, Cactus High versus Notre Dame Prep. Great back and forth battle in this one. In the tiebreaker set, Tara Melton asks the Saints, how do you like your steak? Big time hit there, and the Cobras go on to win the final set, 15 to nine, and they win the match. A lot of firepower on that Cactus High School team. Very easy to see why they're the top ranked team in Division Three in the state of Arizona. And obviously we got some great film out of that too. Yeah, and something that they can send off to college coaches, which is exactly what Real Recruits is all about. And that's why we're at that tournament really around Arizona altogether. We're helping out high school athletes with recruiting. The very first thing that you can do is get a video put together, a professional video, a lot like what Real Recruits can do for you. Check us out at www.realrecruits.com for all of our fantastic videos that college coaches say are some of the best that they've ever seen. Yep, and we also want to push you over to iHi.com to check out the new episode of The Trophy Room that comes out on Monday, October 7th. Make sure you check it out. Also, follow us on Twitter and Facebook at Real Recruits. As always, we'll send it out to the fans. For Kyle Stanley, I'm Phil Stafford. Fans, can we hear you? Yeah.